everybody's speaking, everybody's weeping. We hear a lot from old Britain in this campaign, in all campaigns and not much from the new. But here in Birmingham, at a local arts event, there's a different sort of country, a different sort of politics to that which we're used to seeing. If there's a surprise in this election, it's probably because of what you're about to see. I know other people that I knew that weren't political are now going to vote because of, yeah, for the first time because of how big this election is and how important it is. The young, politicised as rarely before, and it's largely in one direction. Do you know who you're going to vote for? Labour. Labour? Yes. Why Labour? Because Jeremy Corbyn is a G. A G? Yeah. He's a cool guy. And are you excited at the thought of like a new government maybe? Yeah, we need it. Absolutely, yeah, need a shake-up. Jeremy Corbyn. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Jeremy like Corbyn. Corbyn, 100%. It would be the best Christmas present I could possibly hope for. There were a lot of hopes invested in the Corbyn project. One area where it's unambiguously delivered is motivating a new generational politics. It is perhaps now Labour's best chance. My name's Helen, I'm calling from uh, the local Labour Party. But at what cost? For whilst a new Labourism is being born, the old is dying. Just down the road in the black country, the Labour ground game is doing its best to turn out its old voters in both senses of the word, for whom Corbyn and Corbynism has less appeal. How many Labour voters have you come across who said they're going to vote Conservative, or not vote Labour at least, because of Jeremy Corbyn? It's a conversation we have, but once we get uh, into that conversation and we talk about our policies, our Green New Deal, the NHS, education, more sure starts, that's where the real meaty conversation happens. Is Corbyn a problem around here though? Not at all. Not at all? Not at all. I wonder. In 2017, this was the place, this very pool club in the marginal constituency of Birmingham Northfield, where it became clear to me the Labour vote was holding up with its traditional working class voters. Two years ago, Chantal told me she was voting Labour. Now, she's not so sure. My mind's been swayed by lots of different people's opinions. Oh, right. Like, I speak to the mums at school about it. I'm not very clued up with it this time round. So what mums at school saying? Oh. Corbyn is this, Corbyn is that. All you see in the press and the media at the moment is just really bad things about Corbyn. Online ads, especially on Facebook, about Corbyn have cut through. Stuff like the RA, for example, where have you seen that? Who said that? I've seen it in the media. I've seen it in the media that he went to support the IRA, he went to IRA funerals. And I just don't believe in any... Social media? Yeah, 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 social media. And there is an anger now, a connection with Brexit, which just didn't exist two years ago. I don't think there was, a, as I said, there wasn't a connection there back in 2007. I, I really don't think there was. But now I think it's pretty clear on the cards that it is solely about Brexit. There is an unease in the Labour heartlands, a tremulous hope for the young, a sinking hopelessness for the old, a sense for them that politics cannot deliver change and that the Brexit process has proved that suspicion. And in a weird way, that damages Corbyn more than Johnson, for it is he who is offering political transformation. Many just simply don't believe him, no longer believe that it's even possible. Lewis Goodall, Sky News, in the West Midlands.